Hey, what the hell is happening guys? Chris here, and so is that final Battlefield Hardline Betrayal DLC. And boy oh boy has Visceral gone a bit nuts with this one. They've decided to let the hair down a bit more in Betrayal than the other expansions, and it's definitely one of the more wacky packs, with a bunch of cool new weapons, maps, and other bits and pieces too. And in this video, I'm going to give you the lowdown on all that fresh, new content we've now got access to in the DLC. So starting off with the maps, the first one I'm going to go over is the map Chinatown. And as you probably guessed, the map's based around Chinatown in an area in Los Angeles. It's another urban type map, but it might seem a little bit familiar if you've played Battlefield 3. One of the most popular maps on the game was Grand Bazaar, fans loved it, and so why not bring it back? Chinatown is a restyled, facelifted version of Grand Bazaar. The original layout of the map hasn't changed, so if the map's still fresh in your memory banks, it shouldn't take too long to readjust and get back into it again. It's a map that's suited mainly for close to medium range shootouts, with a bunch of narrow alleyways and dense cover points, though there are longer range sightlines around the edges of the map. And it also takes place at night time, so it could be quite beneficial to slap on those thermal optics onto your weapon of choice. Next up is a map called Thin Ice, and this is going to take us to the snowy Sierra Nevada mountains in California. And unlike the Chinatown map, Thin Ice is based in the rural countryside. The map is structured around an airliner crash right in the centre, and this is where most of the action is going to take place. There's other log cabins and bunkers around the forest where you'll find those conquest points, and in between, there's quite a few hills and trees to block lines of sight. Though generally it's got quite a lot of open sight lines, making it a great map for those longer range guns like sniper rifles. It's also home to one of the new vehicles that you can ride around in on the Betrayal DLC, and that's the Snowmobile, which fits in nicely with the map's icy theme. It's quite fast, meaning you can use it to quickly get to those objective points quicker, and run down anyone in the way as you do so. Pressurised oxygen tanks are scattered around the map that can explode, and there's also a frozen lake that can crumble under your feet and leave you in the icy cold waters below. The next map is called Alcatraz, and I'll give you double points for guessing where you might end up in this one. If you've ever seen the 1996 movie called The Rock, this map is pretty much it. Though in case you've never seen that film or don't have a clue what Alcatraz is, it's basically a federal penitentiary off the coast of San Francisco Bay, a prison on an island, though it's just used as a tourist attraction today. The Alcatraz map, however, is the real deal, as it's actually been created closely to its true location. Visceral sent a 30-man team to take thousands of photos, record loads of sound files, and the island has even been created to a one-to-one -one scale, with exact dimensions being translated to the Frostbite engine. Though down to Alcatraz being a military fort before it was a prison, it's got quite a few tactically strong structures in real life that would totally imbalance Battlefield Hardline's map. And being a video game, it wouldn't be a fair map to create in terms of spawn points and traversal. So because of this, fictional areas and assets like walls, stairways and paths were added. And even though that shower area from the rock doesn't actually exist in Alcatraz, well the team decided to add that in there anyway, probably because they liked the movie. And the last map in the DLC is called Cemetery. If the name doesn't give it away, this map takes place in the dark and gloomy New York graveyard. Definitely one of the spookiest multiplayer maps I can remember in recent FPS games. And just to make it creepier, Visceral have decided to put you in a lightning storm too as you play. This would probably be a good one to play on Halloween. It's full of mausoleums, stone statues, and of course lots and lots of graves. And these can be used as cover as you wander around the map reaching the objective points. But to get to them a little bit faster, you can always hop into a hearse, another new vehicle introduced in the DLC. Cemetery features a crematorium, church, tombs and monuments, and you can even go underground into the graveyard's catacombs. Definitely one of the more unique maps in Battlefield Hardline, and stylistically, it's dull and dismal, but unlike a lot of other games maps that have a greyish colour palette, this map actually gets away with it down to its theme. It's also quite dark and foggy, so those night vision goggles and infrared optics wouldn't seem out of place here. So that's the four new maps in the Betrayal DLC, but it also brings quite a few other things along this time. One of the biggest and most exciting aspects of Betrayal is that bloody gun bench that we've been waiting for so long to use. We've known about it for a while, but now we can actually use it. The gun bench lets you customise up to five primary weapons right down to the smallest details, from the colour and style of the optics to the custom camouflage patterns on their sides, and you can even choose how new or worn the weapon is. It's not just weapons you can pimp up though, as you can also choose what colours your agent wears and customise their camo patterns that your character model has on. The gun bench is mainly cosmetic, and creating characters and weapons with custom camos probably isn't going to drastically improve your gameplay, though it's a great way to show your colours and have some fun, adding a new layer of choice to the game. 
although it could be useful in some cases, like adding darker shades of black and grey to character models for nighttime maps, and customising reticles that you'll find easier to use on your weapons. To complement the new gun bench, there's also now a gun range complete with targets, light switches, and even Star Wars Easter eggs. The gun range is an indoor area that allows you to test out your weapon attachment combos and check out those flashy new custom decals you've just designed. It plays out in a similar way to Battlefield 4's test range, and it's got staggered targets at various distances. It's quite a good place to test out the weapons and see how accurate they are, looking at the bullet patterns on the targets at different ranges. Now, the last main factor of the DLC is of course the new pile of weapons we can use. There's quite a lot of guns that have been added, and these include the RPK-74, the AUG-A3, MX4, M4 Shotgun, M98B, M1903, SPAR, MP9, Improvised Gun, Dual V61, A8S, Mammoth Gun and the Syndicate Gun. But these aren't the only weapons that we can now use, as there's also a bunch of new melee weapons here too, including the shovel, designed with the cemetery map in mind, an awesome looking Devil's Toothpick, a nasty cleaver, the Karambit, and there's even a Dragon Age style blade called the Inquisition Sword thrown in here too. Along with a bunch of new achievements and trophies, assignments, gun camos, vehicle paints, and the new inclusion of weaponized vouchers found in gold battle packs. But that's pretty much everything in the Betrayal DLC. It's the final expansion in the Season Pass, and there's quite a lot of content here to be pleased about if you're a Battlefield Hardline fan. So that's all I've got for you in this one. Make sure you subscribe to see plenty more on Battlefield and other games, and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or found it useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.